Hey everyone, it's Zena from Vertical Line Posture Coaching, and I am here for Monday Movement Madness, which is our regular Monday 10 minute class where we move and we do, we do all sorts of exercises and stretches at our workstation. Today I'm focused on isometric contractions. Now I am lying a little bit. All the exercises I'm doing today are, not all of them are gonna be isometric. And by an isometric contraction, what that means is that we're actually not moving a joint, but we're engaging a muscle. And so in most of these cases, they're gonna be isometric, but there are some, ex some exercises in here where we are moving the joint a little bit. But really the point of today is to show you that you can contract and relax muscles while you're working at your workstation. You don't even have to take your hands off the keyboard for some of these exercises. So I hope you join, on, join in with me and do these exercises as I'm talking. I'm gonna start right from the top of my body and move my way down. And we're gonna start with our neck. Most people have what we would call forward head posture, especially when we're working. So if we're gonna be working here today, we're gonna to do a little exercise where we pull the head back and relax. We pull the head back and relax. So it's a contraction of the neck muscles where they move back and relax. So I want you guys to do this with me. You're moving back and then you're relaxing. At the same time as you're putting your, pull, pulling your head back, you're also squeezing your shoulder blades together gently behind you. So it's a double movement of the neck muscles engaging and then the upper back muscles engaging, okay? When you do that, make sure you're not putting tension in your neck and shoulders. So today we're gonna do about 20 repetitions of all these exercises. So I'm not sure how many we've done. I'm gonna guess, I would say maybe 14 or 15 here. So we'll do five more, but again, I want you to think about moving that head back as if you're pushing it into a wall, and at the same time, you're doing a little squeeze in the shoulder blades, okay? So we'll do three more. Three, two, and a one. And if you're not at your workstation, you could do this up against a wall behind you. But again, today, the point of today is to do exercises that you can do sitting at your desk. So just imagine you have a wall behind you and you're just pushing your head against it and squeezing the shoulder blades together. Okay, next we're actually gonna do a scapular squeeze. We're gonna isolate the scapula. I'm gonna take this jacket off so you guys can see me. When I turn around, you can see my back muscles working. So the first position, we're actually gonna have our hands by our sides here, and we're just gonna take our elbows back and squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. I'm gonna demonstrate from the side, and I'm gonna demonstrate from the back. I know it's hard to hear me when I turn around, so I'll probably stop talking or I'll just be counting. But um, when you do this, you wanna make sure that you're not flaring your rib cage out as you do this. So as I turn to the side, I'm not flaring my ribs as I squeeze my scapula. I'm keeping my rib gauge tight as I pull back and squeeze and relax. I'm gonna to turn to the back so you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm literally squeezing and release. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. We'll do about five more, because again, we're aiming to do about 20. So five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so now on the same vein, we're gonna do that same exercise. This one is a little more obvious. If someone was working next to you, they'd see you doing it, but who cares because you're gonna have good posture and they aren't. So we're gonna have our elbows up and we're gonna do the same thing, squeeze and release. And the purpose behind this arm position is to get a little bit of work in our shoulder muscles. Now, one thing we wanna watch out for here is that we're not up in our neck and shoulders. So you're just thinking back and almost thinking down back and down. Again, I'll turn to the back here so you can see what's happening with my back muscles as I do this exercise. So my elbows are up and I squeeze and release, squeeze and release, squeeze and release. Okay, so let's do about five more together here. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Moving down the body, we're gonna focus on the abdominals. So with the abdominal contraction, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna place your hands on your stomach here and we're gonna just pull in and we're gonna release. Pull in and release. It's like you're tightening up that tight pair of pants. Now, if you were working at your desk and you wanted to keep your hands on the keyboard, you could absolutely do this exercise, contract and release as you're still working at your desk. Now the release part of it's important. We want to train muscles to contract and we also want to train them to relax. 
That's super important. If we're in a constant state of contraction, then that's not very good for us. Now, if you are tuned in to your pelvic floor musculature, and those are your muscles that are at the base of your spine that help you with all your bathroom activities, okay? If you're tuned into those muscles, then you can also contract this at the same time. A lot of times we call them the Kegel exercises. So as you're pulling in, you can contract with your pelvic floor and then you can relax. Let's do five more together. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, next we're gonna go down to our inner thighs. I have a little pillow here that I grab. If you have a pillow in your office, great. If not, you can do this with your legs squeezing together. But it is a little more effective if you have something that you can squeeze onto. We wanna make sure we're sitting in good posture here so we have a nice arch in our lumbar spine. We're not flaring our ribs out. So we have a nice straight line from the hip all the way up to the shoulder and the hair. We pulled our head back just like we did at the beginning of, the, of today's class. So we're in that position. I like to take my hands and turn them palms face up here. You can place your hands on the keyboard if that works for you. And we're just gonna squeeze that pillow and release. Squeeze the pillow and release. So you're gonna get some work here in your inner thighs. You may wanna pay attention to which inner thigh is working a little harder than the other. So sometimes you have one that might be working harder than the other. So try to have both inner thighs squeezing simultaneously here so that you get a nice even squeeze. Okay, we're gonna do 10 more because I've actually been counting on this one. So let's do 10, nine, eight. You can also do a contraction of the abdominals on this at the same time if you want to. But if you're just working at your desk and you're just thinking about knee pillow squeezes, you can do that as well. Now I've lost track. Let's just do three more. Three, two, and one. Okay, so that's to get the inner thighs. We've got the abdominals, we got the back muscles, we got the head, the neck muscles. We're gonna do a little outer thighs now. And I've grabbed a little belt here that I, um, just like a regular old belt that you would use. I'm gonna wrap it around my legs here. If you don't have a belt, you can use a TheraBand, you can use um, a towel maybe that you wrap and tie together. Just be creative and find something that might work for you. If you don't have anything, then you may just end up skipping this exercise, all right? So your legs are going into this belt here. And again, I like to go palms face up so that I can sort of be relaxed in my upper body. But if you're typing on the keyboard, then you can do this as well. And you're just squeezing out into the belt, engaging our abductor muscles, muscles on the outside of the hips. Again, you wanna make sure that you are sitting in a good position here where we have a lumbar curvature in the lower back and that we are, we are um, you know, slightly squeezing our scapula but not flaring the rib cage, uh, not flaring the rib cage and not rounding over. So we wanna be in that nice, good posture. Let's do five more together here, squeezing out for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, I've got two more exercises. This one's fun. This one you don't need anything for. It's just a gluteal contraction in a seated position. So again, seated in good posture, you're just gonna squeeze your butt muscles and release. Squeeze and release. So as you see, as I squeeze, my body kind of lifts up and then relaxes. Squeeze and then release. Squeeze and then release. Squeeze and then release. So again, I'm gonna turn to the side and squeeze and release. Squeeze and release, so you can see that I've got my, my glute muscles are contracting and then relaxing. So we'll just do five more together here for five, four, three, two, and one. And then I have one more exercise that I'm gonna take my socks off for. So for this exercise, my feet are on the floor planted and I'm gonna think about pulling my heels towards my chair, pulling my heels towards my chair and relaxing. So this will get the glute muscles that we were just working, but it also gets a little bit of the hamstrings. It's tough if you're wearing socks or something slippery. So if you're wearing like tennis shoes or shoe with a grip, that's better. Or to do this barefoot will also help you as well. This is a true isometric contraction where we're just pushing into the ground and pulling the heels towards you to engage the hamstring muscles, which those hamstring muscles are the muscles that bend the knee joint. So by pulling in, you're getting a little isometric contraction of these muscles here in the back of the legs and a little bit in the glutes. So let's just do five more together here um, using those hamstrings. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
And that's it for today. Now before I leave, I just want to keep reminding everyone that my daily Descrisize Delivered program has just launched. It's been about a week and a half now, and we have definitely have people in the program. They are loving it. It's an accountability program for you where it will help you remember every day to do your daily exercises at your desk. They're all stretches, exercises like this, stuff that you can do throughout your work day. Every week you get a new routine so it doesn't get boring. If you skip a day, you get an email reminder and you get a nudge from me to get on your program. If you have questions, you can ask them and I will answer them. And the cost of the program is only $14 a month. It's a no-brainer, you guys. It's less than what you spend on your day, your month at Starbucks. So um, I will post the link for that underneath this video. And I hope to see you next Monday at the next Monday Movement Madness. Have a great day.